the GCN Radio Network. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that was good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic Super Male Vitality formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and getting the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. A few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. a programmable guy that goes and watches Olympus is Falling and believes all this and really thinks you're a hero. G.I. Joe, great American hero. Yo, Joe. You don't work for Joe. Joe got taken over. The G.I. Joe command base is run by Cobra. Do you understand that? And I use a child analogy to get through to you because that's your main programming template in North America. They're on record with that. That was all Pentagon directed. Do you understand? You work for Cobra. You dress like Cobra. You have the tactics of Cobra. You are Cobra. Hail Cobra. You want to be little boys? Or do you want to really join the Republic? They know what's going on at the Bundy Ranch, and they won't even let a police information officer give us any information. That's a bunch of bullshit. It's all these stupid G.I. Joe movies and stuff where the White House is attacked. The White House is run by Cobra. When I went through the process of becoming press secretary, one of the things, one of the first things they told me was, you're not even to acknowledge the drone program. You're not even to discuss that it exists. It's run by chaos. It's run by Spectre. Special executive for counterintelligence, terrorism, revenge, extortion. They run little kids. They run the snuff films. They run the drugs. They run it all. And because you act like a bunch of naive chumps, this whole thing's going to come down on us. Very much concerns me, considering that they have all this bulk ammunition that they're shooting targets of children. Would you like to tell me who it is that is doing this? It is the Department of Homeland Security, sir. Oh, thank you for calling. 
every police officer in this country, to every FBI agent, to every Secret Service agent, you work for Spectre. You work for Chaos. You work for Cobra. How do they get power? They stage a terror attack using Spectre, using Cobra. Go f yourself. Who is Cobra? Arms dealing, drug dealing, money laundering group wearing mask. They wear masks, ladies and gentlemen, because they're the corporate CEOs. And they're manipulating the governments against each other. Cobra runs the Muslims. Cobra runs the CIA. Cobra runs it all. Cobra is real. You can call it whatever you want. Cobra is in control of America. And Cobra says the veterans and the gun owners, they're saying that we're the bad guys. These people who hold themselves out to be patriots are not. They're nothing more than domestic terrorists. That's what Cobra would say. That's what Spectre would say. That's what Goldfinger would say. Because that's who those people are. I am Supreme Cobra Commander. You call your petty bureaucrats, officials, and authorities. You will kneel before Cobra or face my wrath. Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Cobra Leader. You pathetic little worm. How dare you call me Mr. Cobra? No Cobras were hurt in the filming of that promo video. That you can watch for free at Infowars.com forward slash show. If you're a radio listener out there, you can always catch the refeed 24 hours a day of the three-hour radio slash TV show refeeding at Infowars.com forward slash show. And then there's the subscription site for the nightly news, all the films, HD, ebooks, a lot of other films, our own media sites so that it won't be as easy to censor us like they do on YouTube sometimes and other places. So please become a PrisonPlanet.tv member today. Uh, let me be disciplined here and just read you the headlines, and I'm getting to all of them after our guests leave us uh, here today. Leaked counterterrorism bulletin warns police of impending far-right violence. I told you. They're getting ready to claim the Tea Party's going to start blowing stuff up. How do you discredit a Tea Party taking over, winning the primaries everywhere? Okay, she. It'd be like if you had strep throat and they said you need penicillin. Obama's penicillin is a truckload of TNT rolling into a federal building. Probably, and there'll be a truck outside, uh, you know, just full of Alex Jones magazines. You can, you can bet your boots, folks. And that's why we mention this constantly. And it's hardcore, and it's why they want to kill me. It's why they attack me on the national news and why I'm in the White House memos. And Because, I mean, they know I'm sitting here going, hey, I know who you are. You're the joker, Obama, Holder, New World Order. I've got you. And it's freaking them out that we're on the radio in Boston and Las Vegas and into Los Angeles and into San Francisco and, and, and uh, all like six, seven stations in Texas, six, seven stations in Tennessee, five or six stations in Illinois, stations all over. And it, it's freaking them out. They're driving around listening on AM and FM radio. And I'm up, here, I'm up here saying, hey, I'm going in. I'm not shutting up. I know who you are, murderers. And you are the main suspects of, of every major shooting that is pinned on me. I predicted it would happen and I'd be blamed. It might be some mentally ill person out there. 30, the FBI's own numbers, we covered this two days ago. 36 police officers have been killed in the last 12 years by supposed sovereign citizen right-wing patriots. And if you're one of those cops' family members, it is a big deal. And, I, and I'm sorry for them. But statistically, that's three a year out of several million police. It is one of, if not the rarest way to die. Gangbangers shoot cops every day and kill them in this country. Sometimes five, six cops die a day. You can look at the numbers. You don't even hear about it except on the local news. But my God, if somebody's got an NRA sticker and shoots a cop, we're going to know their name. It's going to be household, ladies and gentlemen. There are going to be TV specials about it.
You know how many movies and TV shows there are where there's a crazy talk show host from Texas who wants to blow up federal buildings and they talk just like me? I, I've probably seen 10 movies people have sent us or more where it's me, supposed to be me. Hell, they even name villains Alex Jones in movies now. I mean, it, it, it's not a power trip, by the way. I'm doing my duty to expose these people. They have tried to assassinate my name and my character, and it's not worked. And so I know what their next move could be. And so if I obsess on this a little bit, it's because you start thinking about it. You start whistling past the graveyard. And I'm not, quite frankly, even worried about it. I'm not trying to freak people out or be melodramatic. I mean, this is real, folks. And it's just something you got to deal with. It's something you got to deal with. Because we're going to lose everything if we don't get past our fear and stand up against them. So we've got that. Establishment media ramps up Iraq intervention. So Obama can be a hero saving us from Al-Qaeda in Iraq. I want to spend at least 30 minutes today on this. But I want to go pull all the articles to prove it. I don't want to just say all this on air. I want to make a really big deal out of this. In fact, I may shoot a special report at the end of the show if I've got the energy because I get exhausted after the show for a couple hours. Because I know exactly what they're doing in Iraq, and I even predicted it. And I have all the proof that this is a 100% false flag. Even the media, in plain view, admits our government armed this al-Qaeda. And it's so staged that the fighters on the ground don't know, and I'm going to decompartmentalize all this. But the leadership knows, and they will be defeated by Obama in Baghdad. Now, what will really happen is they've paid them off, and then they'll, the commanders will tell them to stop attacking. And that came out with the Shiites and the Sunnis, that large contingents were being paid by mercenary groups. Remember when this came out in the news? They caught British SAS dressed up like Al-Qaeda killing Shiites. And it was to get stuff stirred up again to keep the war going, to destabilize the country. While troops are really getting blown up, like Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs got blown up in Iraq and Afghanistan, I know. He can tell that story. He's sitting right here. I mean, it's real people. One time I was on Opie and Anthony's show or one of those shows on, on XM. And a guy called in. I know it was on that network. And a guy goes, don't you say Al-Qaeda's fake. I was a truck driver contractor over there, and it went in my leg into my spine, and I can hardly work. I'll kick your ass, Jones, if I ever see you. And I could understand why the guy was mad, and it got to me, because he was thinking, I was saying he, didn't, he wasn't in a real war. Think of the guys who don't even have weapons driving along getting blown up. No, you're getting shot at. You're getting blown up. It's real. The Al-Qaeda people are being protected and given the money and the weapons by the globalist. And they're doing it publicly, and it makes me angry, okay? It makes me mad the public is so uninformed, they don't even know who the players are. Why do you think this show is incredibly popular with the military? Because they know I know what I'm talking about, folks. The military at least knows who the players are. The general public doesn't, so I'm going to get into that. Huge border, open border news, huge gun grabbing news, huge spying news, huge Putin news. I, I mean, it, it, I've got to get to all this. It is just cuckoo land. Iraq is now Baghdad, as we speak, is falling to Al-Qaeda with, with convoys. Go, go to DrudgeReport.com. Convoys of brand new Mercedes and Jeeps and Toyota trucks with huge... Wahhabist banners and bin Laden banners. That's what the, the most popular name to call your group is a bin Laden brigade. That's what it translates into. The black flag of Saudi Arabia, folks. And they're just rolling in. This is a covert, like I told you, the whole Middle East, just like Lawrence of Arabia did 100 years ago, they are giving the entire Middle East to Al-Qaeda. Syria, Libya, They've got to bring down Iraq and give it to Al-Qaeda. Of course, Saudi Arabia was involved in 9-11. Who do we attack? Iraq, the secular government. Put Al-Qaeda in charge. I'm going to cover it in detail after Krieger leaves us in, about, uh, in the middle of the next hour. I, I, I'm just speechless right now. Biggs, I, I want to get your take on this before you talk about what happened uh, to you last night when you went down to the Air Force Base to 
the burglar was supposed to show up and what happened. It's, it's interesting to show the effect, you know, the press has on people. I mean, obviously, reporters would want to be there for burglar. Why would they act weird when you went there, you know, uh, to scope it out and, and to be open about it?